Hello, welcome back to Tarot by Andy. Thank you for being here. This is my vibrational reading. Please do your own research for entertainment purposes and allegedly. I'm going to use this deck again today that I started doing yesterday, the Holy Grail Tarot. You hear a lot of noises. Well, it's because husband's home for lunch and we've got some yappy dogs. And what did I do today? I've been kind of lazy. I decided to... Um, Check out the filters on TikTok. Yeah, I don't know if you saw my post, but I went from feeling like the Crypt Keeper to glam, like I just spent a couple hours in the makeup chair. Yeah, um, and I didn't even brush my hair or my teeth, literally. So uh, I think she definitely probably uses it all the time. On top of the fact, I do think she also do is getting tweaks, okay? Uh, cosmetic tweaks. And more. I don't know if they have them so advanced that you can actually put on a wig and have it look real maybe i don't know if they've gone that far maybe she has that tiktok doesn't have that because that's where i went uh so yeah uh totally my hair but i could tell my lips were bigger skin was all smooth i had on eye makeup and uh you know looked like i had a full face cosmetic done you know um so without even you know so much as brushing my teeth so <laughs> I was like, wow, this could be addicting. Oh my God, if I could just take back time and the clock. That's how it felt. I was like, wow, I think I'm going to have to screenshot this image and store it in my phone. Uh, my first attempt. And kind of creepy because you can't see the edges of fake and real. They've got it down to that level, you guys. And the old, the old ones... Uh, you could see that it looked like fake eyelashes sitting on the person's head, you know, it just looked kind of, you could just tell, you know, I mean, nobody was being fooled by it, but this new app, my goodness, it could easily fool anybody. It seriously could fool anybody. So definitely hands down, she used an app. And there was also a picture on, um, Instagram where they were controlling, con kind of comparing, Megan's picture that she did recently uh, and next to Kim Kardashian and J-Lo and a couple others. And yeah, you know, you could tell they're all using it and they're all sort of looking like each other. So there's that. <laughs> so back to Samantha and the Markles. They are going on this Sunday. It's going to be airing this Sunday, uh, basically talking about Megan, showing a clip of her apparently starting, um, you know, younger at a, a high school, apparently. So already it's kind of glorifying her, glamorizing her, unfortunately. Uh, but yeah, um, the fact that her dad apparently stated, you know, can we fix this shows I don't think there's going to be any... Um, major revelations that are going to trash her that'll take her down to the point of no repair with them um so i don't know you know it should be interesting to see i am definitely going to watch it i'm sure many of you will and if you can't watch it i will watch it and tell you all about it and um i, I can't put it on youtube because then i'll get in trouble but i can definitely talk about it so anyways um what else? So I just want to know, how does she feel? How is she feeling about this? How is she feeling? She will most likely, as HG Tutor did, drop a video on it. She'll go into smear campaign. She will go into, you know, correction mode. She will try to overshadow it by announcing what she's going to be doing next and how great she is. And she'll just try to bury it with her posts, which is not hard to do. She'll do that. She'll just bury it, probably. There's not much she could do to take away from people's opinions, but she can certainly try. I don't think there's too many people on the fence about her at this point, to be honest. So, how does she feel? How does she currently feel? She knows about it now. If she didn't know before, she knows now. If we know, she knows. Guarantee it. She probably got a little wind of it right, right beforehand. Something must have leaked. I would think that she probably heard something this flipped. What do I have here? Queen of Cups. Oh, it's making her kind of sad. She's a sad queen. She's sad. That's a sad queen, you guys. So she's thinking, wow, she's very obsessed with her emotions right now. And she's thinking maybe she can probably heal herself in all due respect. She's feeling hurt. 
the Queen of Cups easily gets hurt and she's really caught up with her heart on her sleeve. She's probably feeling like, why? Why are they doing this to me? I'm a, I, I'm a good person. I'm a loving person. You know, I'm just going to try and be an emotional strong rock here. So she is going to, she's definitely feeling it. She's definitely feeling it, okay? Uh, that's not the happiest queen in the deck, okay? <laughs> so, at the bottom of the deck, four of pentacles. Holding, guarded, and possession. Yeah, she's thinking, oh, they just want to hang on to me. They want to cling to me. They think that they own me. And um, I think she, though, basically, I, being who she is, I think she's just going to hold her pattern of behavior. Uh, it's the greedy miser. It's getting money. It's building up your wealth, your security, building up. It, this was also a building up situation. And it's also the no card. And it is the greedy materialistic card. So she's thinking, oh, they want money from me. They're jealous of me, more than likely unwilling to share what her resources are so yeah she's thinking well they're you know they're just gonna it's also kind of a boundary card too so she's gonna hold up her boundaries she's also gonna tell them no to it so she's gonna deny it she's gonna keep doing what she does which is to build herself up she's just gonna say hey it was a building situation and what more can i expect so i don't think she's gonna be totally shocked by it but she is gonna be super hyper focused on her feelings and her emotions and feeling sad about it feeling disappointed so so far not seeing any rage and anger but more than likely that probably will pop up here because that's kind of how she rolls here we go challenging position challenging position is five of wands in reverse yeah she's gonna try to stay peaceful she's figuring yeah they're trying to they're trying that's competition it's a competition it's fighting it out you see those two fists with the fire in between uh, yeah, they're just trying to start something is what she's thinking. Yep, they just want to start something with me. They just want to get my attention. Uh, it's competition. Bring it on. But uh, you know what? There is no competition as far as she's concerned. No, nope, there is no competition here. Uh, you know, she's just going to resolve to the fact that she can do whatever she wants differently. And um, she's going to try to stay in a peaceful place here. Uh, she's going to play victim. It's the victim position, victimization. Uh, she'll probably say, oh, they're playing victim. But really, we know she's the victim. She'll probably claim they're belligerent. And, um, you know, maybe, you know, they're trying to get me to be interested in them. It's also five in reverse is renewed interest. So they're trying to fight it out so they can get my attention. Uh, they, you know, they, they want the drama and the chaos. And I'm just not going to give it to him so she thinks she's going to ride over it like she's just this uh this high and mighty i'm this loving kind woman and i'm just going to maintain my pattern and behavior just becoming a wealthy individual and growing myself and they want my attention they're just simply not going to get it so she's going to try to claim peaceful uh peaceful position here so she's going to play try to play the high road probably because she's under a new contract with uh, the new talent <clears throat> talent agency. Apparently, you don't have to have much talent is what people are saying to get signed on. Uh, so I guess me, even I could. So here we go. Uh, at the focal point here, King of Pentacles in reverse. Community leader, generous and reliable material wealth. Yeah, she knows she's not. She's out. She's out. They're out. Uh, she's going to think basically uh, that they're broke. King of Pentacles would be her dad. She she took all his money. She took all his worth. Uh, he took care of her. She doesn't like to own up to it. She likes to deny, 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 deflect, recreate history. She did it all by meself. I did it all by myself. No, you didn't. Uh, he did, he took care of her. He they said apparently she would be a waitress right now if it wasn't for her father. Uh, so she's gonna deny it. No, he never took care of me. He was never quite that that person. You know, my dad's kind of a scam artist. He's careless with his money. You know, he's just very uncharitable. He's just domination. There was just a lack of consistency with money. No, he didn't. So she's going to no, know he's a terrible business person. He never had enough money in the bank. He wasn't the provider and the prote protector. He was never successful. He was never, um, I was never dependent on him. No, I wasn't. He was never consistent uh, or easily relied upon. I could not rely upon him. So she's going to deny, deny 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 whatever he says she's going into denial well that flipped over okay here we go sun in reverse so she's going to be very unhappy it's going to feel like dark clouds are hiding or any kind of joy she might try and attempt to feel that day but i don't see her being in a very good 
mind frame right now anyways. Uh, she's going to say, why? Why did they seed that? Why do they have to seed this? You know, they want to, they're trying to glow me down. Uh, the sun upright is glowing up, you know, glowing up. The universe has your back. You're, you're going along well. You've got vitality and success. You've got marriage. Everything's going great. You're just shining and glowing and just like J-Lo glow, right? She's trying to look like J-Lo. Positive vibes. So she should say, wow, they're trying to take me down. Uh, they're trying to lower my vibes. They're trying to get people to say no to me. They're giving off false impressions. You know, they're just sad and they're depressed because, you know, they, they act like they had it. And so she's just going to claim they're just trying to take over whatever joy I have in life. And I'm just not going to lower myself to their, to their level. So she's going to play uh, indignant, total indignant. Oh, uh, you know, I'm just not going to do that. So she's probably going to be mirroring someone who would do that because that's not her nature. Trust me, they get back. She'll hang on to it and cling on to it for a different time. And then when it's unexpected, she'll just throw it out there. Uh, she won't do it now. She looks like she's going to wait. She's going to wait to get her revenge. They could hang on to that revenge for a really long time. Uh, they can wait for years. Trust me, they don't forget, but they will get even. And that's basically what's going to be. So we have here the past position that doesn't serve is five of cups. Five of Cups is basically, you know, healing old wounds. She's going to say, nope, I'm healing my old wounds. They need to heal their old wounds. This is lost. They lost me. Uh, they're feeling mournful and regretful. They got, they didn't get their wishes fulfilled. So this is why they're doing it. And they're wondering, can they get me back? It is purge and release. Can I get it back? Should I purge and release? Can I get this detachment back? She detached herself can I, I really want her back. So this is uh, her father saying, what do we need to do? Uh, because of the whole letting down emotional, it is also self-pity. It's a very sad, sad emotional card of loss. It is the card of mourning. So she realizes she really destroyed her, destroyed her father for starters. You know, I'm sure she disappointed her brother and her sister, but really mentally destroyed her father. And he wants her back. Uh, this card here says loss and despair, sacrifice and change, healing old wounds. So he's wondering, can we get it back in essence? Can we can we create a change here from all this loss? Can we just put it behind us kind of card? Um, you know, can we find some recovery? This is the recovery position uh, in reverse. It's upright. So she doesn't want to recover. She's not interested in recovery. She just wants to keep going and doing what she's doing, which is maintain her pattern of behavior and maintain that boundary and that greed and materialism and not share whatever bounties that she acquires in life. Uh, because, you know, he never did give to me. He wasn't that kind. So she's really going to backpedal on all that. She's going to lie. She, she really would be a waitress. So she's just going to lie about it. So we have here uh, free will, fresh start and impulsive. You know, I'm, I'm doing my own thing. Why can't they do theirs? Uh, you know, uh, why can't they go take a fresh start doing something else instead of creating all these obstacles and problems? Because orange also represents some obstacles. Through the obstacles, you go and you take a new path. So she's thinking, wow, are they taking a leap of faith here? Uh, you know, what, what's their problem? Uh, you know, may, maybe maybe they, they're trying to aim for a new beginning for the future with her. And can we put this behind? Can we get a future with you? Uh, not knowing what to expect, but can we give it a try? So she's aware that they're trying to trigger her into, um, into communication and to lower her boundaries and to, um, by glowing her down, uh, letting her know. And she also realizes they're miserable. Her dad is very, very unhappy. He has not been able to feel joy and happiness. It's just this constant, you know, sorrowful energy here and really hoping to put it behind they want to put it behind he wants to put it behind they don't want this to continue so it's like charles charles is the same way with harry you know uh no it's it's every parent's worst nightmare and people who haven't been through it just simply uh probably can't quite grasp it unless they've been through it themselves uh, it's the it's it's mourning the death of, of a living individual far more painful than someone who actually has crossed over because this is a willful a willful death and and you just there is no closure you guys absolutely no closure so the magician in reverse 
So here, creation, manifestation, and quick thinking. She's thinking that they're probably, actually with my magician, the way I see it is uh, the illusions and deceptions, trickery. So really she thinks, well, okay, you know, uh, they don't have good willpower. They're, they're not able to get what they want. They can't get their potentials. They're trying to take mine down. Uh, they're creating false illusions about me because they're greedy and they want money and they're creating trickery. Really, they're exposing hers and setting her up to fail. They're trying to set me up to fail so I cannot get what I want. I cannot create change. I can't concentrate on my manifestations and getting what I want in life. And this here, and I cannot create anything. Uh, you know, this here, magician, is you use all your resources. This would also be shutting down her resources, removing resources for her to be successful, glowing her down, creating misery, because they want her back. Oh, can't they just let me go? You know, kind of energy here. Death. Yep, they can't let me go. Death. This here is the re resisting the change. Resisting the change. They have an inability to accept the fact that she let them go. It is the end. There is no hope and renewal. Uprights, hope, or, hope and renewal. Now, she's, she's like, uh-uh. You know, it's the potential for it. It's not always literal death. Uh, I think she's waiting for her dad to die. She doesn't care. He's got like a terminal illness. It's the terminal illness position here. He has a lot of health problems. And she quite simply doesn't care. She does not care. She doesn't care to contact him. She figures, ah, oh, it's all set up for failure anyways. I don't care. I don't know. Is my dad even really that sick? It's probably trickery. You know, it's deception. Everything, they're just being deception. But really, they are going to expose her deception. But she's going to... Uh, project that back onto them is how I feel. So this is them as well as her. Uh, whatever they say, she's just going to say, no, it's them. And no, it's them. So really, she is all about that. She really probably actually has a hard time moving on as well, but she does a good job of hiding it. Uh, she's got to have somewhat of a, a bit of a bothered conscience at some point, um, you know, because it is here a fear of change, uh, you know, delayed ending, feeling stuck. So there is some kind of feeling stock energy because they're not going away. She wants them to go away. Just go away. Let go of me. Let go of me. No, we're not going to let go of you. We're not going to allow you to just um, do this. And in her mind, it really is a delayed ending. She probably felt it for a long time prior to doing it. Uh, when she drained them enough and got all the resources from her father, uh, got all his resources and so that's why they clear out. They clear out. They're done. Ace of Cups in reverse. Yeah, no new emotional beginning for her. She's She doesn't want it. No, thank you. I'm turning you down. I'm shutting it down. I'm going to devalue you, and I'm going to emotionally block you, and I've broken from you. I have absolutely no interest in any of you. She has no interest at all. The Ace of Cups upright is being able to have birth a birth of love, birth of love and new relationships, and, and get back together and, and connect and get some support, and get some peace between you, you know, and start developing a new chapter, and hooking up, now, nah, she's not interested, no thank you, she doesn't want it, so she's going to keep that emotional door closed, um, she doesn't care that they're unhappy and miserable, they want to get back together, she doesn't care that her dad's in mourning, she doesn't care that maybe he needs some financial assistance, even though she drained him dry, she's, she, there's no way she's going to get a fresh start with them, and take a leap of faith, at all. There is no leap of faith with her. She's not going to do it. She's just going to stay, well, you know, I'm just going to focus on my emotions here. And only my emotions matter right here. Only my feelings matter. I'm hyper-focused on how I feel and I don't care how they feel. So she is hyper-focused on that queen of cups there. And she's just not going to deal with the challenge. I don't care. I've came, I come to peace with what's happened. I'm just not going to fist it out with them anymore. We're not fisting it out. We're not fighting anymore. This fight's done and over with. We're done with, we're done fighting and discussing. There is no fight here because she is totally moved on. She's taken that leap of faith and she's out. She doesn't care about the obstacles they're facing at all. So there's a total lack of empathy here. And then this card, let's see, what did this one pop? No, this one here. Seven of Pentacles. Steady progress, worry, and delays. Yep, she is worrying. She's trying to get progress. She's doing her videos with false imagery to make herself look younger because we are a youth-obsessed society. 
So she's worried. She's worried. She's trying to stand, stand still. She's trying to do her thing. Uh, this here is about, you know, maintaining yourself, guarding yourself too. Uh, it's, it's protecting yourself. She's, she wants to stand her ground. Uh, she's got very much vested self-interest. She thinks her success will be hard won. Uh, she knows they want a face-to-face -face battle. This is a face-to-face -face battle card too. And, you know, she's just going to stay guarded and keep up the boundaries. Uh, getting her to come in would be very uh, hard won. She's not going to do it. She's totally going to stand her ground. So they're not going to get away with it. They're not going to get away with it. This is this this really expresses it in a very gentle way, but it is worries and, and delays. She's going to worry about it, definitely. And she's doing it with uncertainty. It's a challenge. Okay, they're testing me. Seven's all about challenging tests. It's about projections, uncertainty, and waiting. So she's going to wait it out, wait it out before I do anything. And then I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to come at them with a very defensive stance, very alert, and, and I'm going to win over them. I'm going to succeed at doing something and it's going to be very defensive and it's going to be a face-to-face. -face. It's not going to be so much face-to-face, -face, but probably through media and all that. Because that's the only way she will. She's a coward. She's not going to do face-to-face. -face. But she knows that's what they want. They want face-to-face. -face. She's not going to give it. Hopes and fears. We have here Ten of Swords in reverse. Yeah, they're, they're getting what they don't want. Uh, Ten of Swords in reverse is the worst is over. It's dead end. Nothing worse can come from this except heal yourself. Uh, it's total backstab, total backstab. Uh, she feels, well, did they totally backstab me? But really she backstabbed them first. So it's a projection. Uh, it's being pinned down, uh, in the worst degree. It's like, it's like the prison card, the poor me card, life's in total tower, you know, tatters. It's complete burnout. It's a major disaster, a very painful, painful ending to the absolute worst degree. Uh, total tragedy. In this position, it also represents uh, diseases, pain, disorders, sadness, tears, grief, wanting rejuvenation. After all this Ten of Swords, taking everybody down, what she did, causing such extreme mental anguish, depression, torment. God only knows what else they went through during that period. If you want to know anything, what a strange parents go through, there are lots of YouTube channels. They are popping up left and right because it's becoming a popular uh, subject matter now. Uh, I can't believe the number of channels that are popping up in parental estrangement from their children. Uh, incredibly painful. Uh, some parents commit suicide, okay? That's how bad it can be. Uh, they want, they want to get back. They want that atonement with her, but here, and this is also sort of an atonement position, wanting rejuvenation. They want rejuvenation, uh, you know, wanting a little bit of short success, you know, because out of total despair, they're doing this and they're just, they're trying to find a way to, to get rid of that energy. It, it can't get any worse from here. Can we build back up? Because after this, hopefully they can go up to the Ace of Swords which would be opening up communication and actually having uh, an intellectual conversation and speak some truths and open up. Uh, but it's in the downward dog position. More than likely, it would still be in the downward dog position with the sword. So all they're going to probably get is lies from her. So I feel that she'll go from a ten of swords down uh, to a ace of swords down. And then she's just going to spew out in a defensive measure some more lies about them. She's going to claim that it's all lies, that they're just backstabbing me now. Uh, so it's just a lot of sadness and grief here and a lack of emotional commitment. And she's just trying to hold her ground and defend uh, her lifestyle. She does not need them. And it's very clear. She does not need them. She does not want them. Uh, they're beneath her. And she's moved on. And since I've moved on, why can't you? Why are you so hung up on getting me? Uh, you know, uh, very um, total coldness, very cold hearted, doesn't care that she left behind some very broken, shattered emotions. Does, it just doesn't phase her. It really doesn't. And then the final call here, the Knight of Wands, impulsive action. She's going to think, it. oh, well, wasn't that impulsive? That came in awfully quick. Uh, it's the hero energy, too. Uh, the Knight of Wands is 
Is it the Knight of Wands? Yeah, Knight of Wands is the hero. They just want me to rush in and rescue them. I'm not going to rescue and save them from their own misery. They're miserable. And this here is Adventure and Explore. Yeah, so she's going to say, well, I'm doing my own thing too. I'm an adventurer. I'm an explorer. I'm too busy. That's the other thing that she's going to probably think and say. And then we have here the Knight of Cups in Reverse. Yeah, this is um, Unrequited Love Position and revoking offers and uh basically no i'm not interested i'm not interested i'm too busy here i'm enjoying myself i don't need i'm not going in and rescuing them i have no love for them any love or any uh, arrival of love would be all false she's not going to accept anything she's not going to show up she's not going to give them good news she's not going to go after them she's not feeling any attachment to them She's not going to invest or propose or give any empathy or apology to them. Not in that position. She's too busy on her own mission, being a, kind of like a wild child. Uh, the Knight of Wands is basically a player. You know, she's a player. She's a player. It's the player card. The player who has absolutely no emotional commitment to anybody. It's all manipulation. She's just, she's a player. I'm going to go do my thing here. I don't, I don't, they're what? They're, they're hurting. Okay. What else is new? All right. I believe it. And basically criminal card. The uh, judgment in reverse is uh, a lot of people feel that this here is some people who fail in life. Uh, so that's going to fail. There is no letting go. There is no letting go. Uh, this is lacking self-awareness. She doesn't care. Her inner critic's going off. Uh, a little. There's some self-loathing, though. She's got to have some self-loathing. It's a very negative karmic um, lesson here. And uh, resurrection card. It's a re card of resurrection. But she doesn't want to resurrect anything with them. She doesn't want to forgive them or herself for anything. There is none. There is no wake-up call for her. She's just ignoring the wake-up call. Uh, she's not going to do self-evaluation. It's a card of self-evaluation upright. Uh, here it says here, karmic lessons, spiritual awakening, and resurrection. Now, we're not going to resurrect this relationship. I don't love you. I don't care. I'm not coming in. Even if you did that, I'm not coming in. And I'm just too busy traveling. I'm really... Uh, passionate about what I do in life. I have no interest in you and I'm going a completely different direction. It's just not interested. And then we have here page of cups in reverse. Upright is dreaming, you know, intuitive, loving messages. She's not putting out loving messages. I don't care about you. I'm not doing it. And then another reversal, queen of swords in reverse. I cut you out. I cut you out. I don't, I'm, I'm cruel. I'm ruthless. I'm reckless. I'm, I'm just cold hearted woman. I know what I'm doing and I could care less what you think. Uh, she's malicious. She's ruthless. She's going to say they're just gossiping about me and especially Samantha. This will be the Samantha card. She'll say that Samantha is just gossiping and just a big deceiver and she has poor judgment and she's, you know, just because she's wiser doesn't make her smarter. And, um, she's just going to act like, uh, you know, it's total extremism, but really it's about Markle who cut them who cut them out, but she's going to claim that everything is manipulation on their end. It's just, she's just not going to, she's going to deny, it's that deny, deflect, reframe, recreate history. That's what she's going to do. That's just how she operates. So let's find out how are they going to handle this? How are they going to handle the silence and the crickets from Markle? How are they going to handle the silence and the crickets from Markle? They're not going to like it. Sun in reverse. Yep. It's just not going to go anywhere. It, they, they're not going to be able to seed anything with her. The sun is about seeding, seeding and growing. It's not going to happen. It's just, it's going to stay right where it's at. The bottom of the deck, free will. You had the free will to do it. You took a risk. They took a risk and they were improvising and not knowing what to expect. And what you can expect is nothing's going to get seeded. It's just going to stay right where it is. That's a dead seed that's not going to grow. Very discouraged. Sadness. There's low vitality there. There's no growth there. No happiness there. Even if they love her and they want her and they want to test the relationship with her, which is mainly her father here, this is testing the relations. It's just not necessarily lovers, lovers. 
but it's partnerships, it's it's dualities, it's should I stay, should I go, it's making, it's a choice. Do I choose to test this or not? She chooses not to. I'm not seeding this. I'm not seeding this. They took that chance and that's their that's their fault. It's not my fault. And then the six of swords in reverse. Uh, they're gonna think this is mental clarity, six of swords. Six of swords, that moving away, I'm in a rut. And she did that already. She thought I got away from them. And here, they're just haunted by the past and they're trapped now. They're trapped now because they're hoping to get me back. They're hoping to get me back, but they took that risk, but it's not going to happen. I'm not going to allow it to happen. Uh, I'm, I'm busy. I left, if you'd read it diagonally this way, I took a chance and I left with my lover, Harry. She's always busy with a lover. She goes from one man to the next. There's always going to be a new lover because she is going to always prepare for the next person to make sure she can always stay on her fool's path. And keep going and not ever connect and seed and grow a relationship. She left. She does not want to go back. Uh, she is somewhat haunted by it, but she knows going back would be too difficult. This is a, a troubles returning. And it's also the card of living in comparisons. It's also a card where you could very well end up self-sabotaging yourself. And she has self-sabotaged herself, but she's still not interested. She did self-sabotage herself actually seeking to get the limelight, to get the light on her, trying to find the light. She basically self-sabotaged herself. She didn't find it because she's unharmonious here with the six in reverse. Uh, so she doesn't have it. And then this is valued at 19. So that's in reverse. So there's no new sparks coming and there's no fulfillment coming. So, you know, she is dependent. She's dependent on other people to make her happy, but it's not going to be her family. Her happiness is dependent on who she hooks up with, who she hooks up with, who she can take the fool's path and doesn't realize really what she is, takes a chance and hope it works out because she jumps into new relationships very quickly. And she has a hard time ever thinking about going back because she does so much damage. Uh, that's just a coward energy there. And so basically that's how I see that. She doesn't want to start anything with them. She just doesn't. She's really going to look for a new lover. She's going to look for that next new journey, the next new sucker that she could suck into her world when she's finally done with Harry. She's on to the next guy. She's totally on to the next guy. She's going to seed it, but she doesn't have it right now. She doesn't have it because nobody will have her right now. So there is no new spark and there's no fulfillment just yet. Just yet. And that's going to make her feel like they're trying to, um, trying to, to, ruin her future so it's all about her it will be about how she's trying to uh conquer the world and they're trying to block me from conquering the world uh you see them saying that a lot they, they're they're going to conquer the world they're going to rule the world and that's really her mind is i'm going to rule the world and these these people just won't get out of my way let's get some more this is the love deck this is called the Island Time Wellness deck. There you go. I like this deck a lot. It's a fun one. Megan and her family. Megan and her family. Megan and her family. What do I have here? Ooh. Oh, God. <clears throat> yeah. She axed them, you guys. She Any love they have for her, I'm sorry. I axed you. It's over. Yeah, it's, it's breakup, separation, stop the pattern, silent treatment, abandonment. Uh, even though they like what they want her, they have passion for her. No, no, I'm done with you. It's over. It's over. Just accept it. She wants them just to, to bite the bullet, accept it, and get on with your life because I have no empathy. She doesn't care. She's so, so ruthless and cold. Does not care. Doesn't care who she hurts. And then we have here the sword and the rose, which is clarity. She thinks she's revealing the truth. Really, they're revealing the truth on her. Protection and power. She wants protection and power, and she likes the camera. So she just feels that she has clarity. She is talking her truth, her truth about everyone. She speaks her truth, and she's very protective of herself. She wants power. She wants power with that sword. She wants that clarity. I'm like that queen of swords, and I'm a beautiful rose of a woman, and I speak my truth, and I have all this attention on the camera. Everybody loves me. The camera loves me. I'm going to events. She is replaying uh, issues in her head. Uh, this is replaying issues in your head. That's what they're doing. They're going over old videotapes, old cassettes. 
especially the one in high school with her uh, being on the, uh, you know, prom queen or whatever. So homecoming queen court. I think, I don't know if she won the court, but I think she was on it. So this is them replaying old videos of, of her and being that she was, you know, a truth that she, at that time, she may have been more into clarity and truth, you know, and she was more, felt more powerful back in those old days than what she actually does now. And then we have here sunglasses. She's going to watch, she's going to look, but she's going to hang up on people. She's not going to talk about it. She's like, ah, not today. I'm not talking about it. She won't take calls. If they call, can we have a statement from you, Megan? Would you like to talk about what they said? What, what What's your response? Oh, I'm not today. Not today. But she's going to probably put on her sunglasses and she's going to freak out. She's just too famous for everyone, right? I'm just too famous. I'm just too special. And and I'm just going to put on my Hollywood sunglasses and I'm going to tell everyone not today. She loves the attention, though. I mean, she absolutely digs this, all right? It's not a problem for her. It would be a problem for us, but not for her. She gets off on it. So we shouldn't feel sorry for it. This is exactly what she wants because she did this before. She did this before anyone knew who she was. She played this game just so she could get this game of putting on my sunglasses. I'm so famous. Not today. Leave me alone. Oh, they're bothering me. The paparazzi won't leave me alone. And then Harry jumps in. Leave my girlfriend alone. She's just new to this. Don't bother her. She loves it. She loves it. She digs it. This is totally up her alley. And she is the girl with the snake. Who, who creates sudden change, upheaval, transformation. You know, she if she doesn't like something, boom, she's gone. She's going to create that. That's like a tower crashing. And then she's going to rebuild herself, shut herself, and rebuild herself into something else. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter what happens. I'm always going to rebuild myself. So she really feels like she's always under construction, always rebranding herself, always capable. And we have another snake card. And she's also the other snake. She's a snake woman. She's a snake woman who, it doesn't matter. You don't have to worry about an antisocial brain because they always find new supply. They always find that sucker to take advantage of and they just keep reshedding themselves and rebuilding themselves. It doesn't matter. She will always, re she will always shed her skin and grow a new coat. It's just the way she operates. And that's why she thinks she can keep uh, throwing spaghetti at the wall and see what sticks. And, okay, that didn't stick. I'll try this job over here. Woo, that's hot. I'll jump on that bandwagon. Maybe that will work for me. So she's just going to keep trying until she succeeds. That's one thing. Uh, like Charles said, he nailed her. That is tungsten. She's perseverant. She never gives up. She never gives up. She definitely does have that knight of pentacles energy. That's that's someone who will not give up. They're very stubborn, very set in their ways, and they're very deeply um, absorbed into what they want to accomplish. And she does not bend. She will not give up. She's going to keep going. And that is the energy I have here. I hope you enjoyed this. Till next time, like and subscribe. Bye, you guys.